Hey everybody, this is Joseph over at Synergy 17, and today I want to show you uh, another cool feature about Great Cuts. So I'm gonna start off in Corel Draw just to show you some a few things, but um, I'm gonna draw just a, a bunch of random uh, shapes, circles, um, polygons. Let's just draw and just draw a couple things here. Let's go to Basic Shapes. Let's draw this here. Couple rainbows or magnets, lightning bolts, and uh, here's some it's a cross. And let's see what else we have here. Let's do a heart. Okay. So what I want to show you is. Let's say you're doing decals, or I mean, you could be doing HTV too. Anything you're going to cut out in vinyl or or laser. Uh, laser gravy is also a good one because you want to maximize your material. Well, let's say I'm going to take some of this here. Uh, let's move it closer. I mean, yeah, we can organize this here, all the pieces, um, and try to get everything. You know, try to get this to fit into here and spot over here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to double this. Let me move this over here. Oops. Just gonna move things around, and I'm gonna duplicate this. Control D, so I have twice as much stuff here. So, anyways, now I have this, um, and what I want to do, I'm gonna take this sort of great cut. So, whether we're making a decal or, or HTV or, uh, like I said, or laser engraving, I'm gonna take this over here to great cut, and now I have all this stuff here. So. What we're trying to do, what, what I want to show you in this example is how to maximize your material. So right now if I click on this, you can see this is 32 inches by almost 16 inches um, high by 32 inches uh, wide. Of course, like I said, we can ungroup this and, and try to fit these pieces in there, but Great Cut will do that for you. If you notice under Tools, you'll see Optimize Material. Well, the reason I can't click on it is because everything's grouped. So let's go and ungroup everything. So ungroup, so now everything's separate. I'm going to highlight it all. And if I go to Tools, Optimize Material, it says, it asks me how much I want for a weed border. And that's basically the spacing between each element. And it says no object uh, rotation. That means leave everything the way it is. Sometimes you don't care. Sometimes you don't care if this lightning bolt is up and down, uh, horizontal or vertical. You just want to maximize the material. Uh, if you had bitmaps, you can include that. Maximize, we'll kind of go through another pass and try to see if we can do any more uh, optimization. But this default setting is just like this. It's going to be okay. I just want to show you what it's going to do. So remember that, 32 inches wide by almost 16 inches um, uh, tall. That's how much material we need. If I hit OK, you see what it did was it takes all those shapes and it tries to find the best way to put all these pieces in there to use less material. So if I highlight that now, you'll see I'm only using 12 inches by 19 inches. So we we are no longer wasting all this material. And this, like I said, this is useful if you're cutting the decals out or yeah, say I had a piece of wood and I want to laser cut all this stuff. Now I have all this free space there. So um, anyways, I'll show you once again. You just highlight what you want. I mean, if you only want to optimize this much, you just highlight that. But we want to do the whole thing. Tools, optimize. Um, here it says only selected objects. That way, if I only selected certain ones, um, hit OK. And we go from 32 inches and by 16 high to only 12 inches by uh, almost 20 high. So anyways, um, it's a good way to optimize your material and not waste it. So hope you found that useful.